Before federal labor laws protecting union activity, employers often petition the courts for help in opposing concerted employee actions. Many courts were quick to enjoin employees' joint efforts to secure better wages and working conditions, as in Vegelon v. Guntner. The employees of Frederick Vegelon's furniture business went on strike for higher wages. George Guntner was a trade union agent assisting the employees. Employees and union members patrolled outside Vegelon's factory in groups of at least two throughout the workday. Vegelon claimed the picketers used social pressure, intimidation, and threats of bodily harm to coerce replacement workers to quit and to dissuade job seekers from hiring on with him. Vegelon sued Guntner, two trade unions, and several other individuals, whom we'll collectively call Guntner, seeking to enjoin the strikers' activities. The trial court issued a broad temporary injunction restraining Guntner from engaging in the conduct alleged and prohibiting Guntner from conspiring to interfere with current or prospective employees. Guntner appealed to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, 